everything Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything 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 Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything everything Chris my um talks <coughs> One of my favorite part, these are the hot spot questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the two three part questions. But as you're a coach, I'm gonna do it from a coach perspective. So let's, there we go. So first part is a player you love coaching, player you love coaching against, and a funny player you've coached. <laughs> okay. Player player I love coaching. Player I love coaching. I mean, I've I've had a lot of I've been fortunate. Um, and you're going to put me on the spot because you're asking me for one of these. So I, I'm going to tell you that, you know, going through uh, one of the best players I've ever coached as a, from a coaching perspective is Drew Stinks. Drew Stinks was our captain in Milton Keynes. Okay. We won, we won. Drew. Drew was excellent. He understood his position. He understood yeah. everybody's position on the floor. He was a motivator and he knew everything we were doing. It was just yeah. a beauty, you know. Joe, Joe, our captain, has been with us for six years now, I think. Seven years, maybe. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he will do whatever the team needs. Okay. But actually, obviously, coaching Justin and being able to execute has been a huge plus from a coaching standpoint. So, okay. from a, who, 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 coaching for, who I've loved coaching, those are those three there. Okay. What, who, coaching against? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, you mean player-wise or coach-wise, you mean? You could go coach or player-wise, whichever you, you, you prefer. Um, well, I, I've always loved coaching against Fab and Rob. Okay, <laughs> uh, because if you're coaching against them, it means you're in a big game. You know, yeah. so I've always, loved that, you know, um, uh, you know, off the floor, Rob and I get on so well. Yeah, yeah. On the floor, we hate each other. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I love coaching against him because I know it's all about ball. You know, yeah. but, but you know, and that's a really good thing. And with Fab, you know, Fab's intensity is second to none. Uh, yeah. That he brings, he. he He'll cry for the game, you know. Yeah, is that yeah. kind of, um, I'm a little bit more of, of a joker, so I like to kind of bait Fab a little bit and <laughs> enjoy that little aspect of it uh, as well. Yeah. Um, and then the guy I used to like coaching was some of the guys who played for me, like like Orland Jackman and yeah. Teo. You know, I love yeah. coaching again just because we get each other and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> <fun. laughs> uh, one that you said funny funny player you, you've coached one of the funny players you coach um you know one of the funniest players i've coached is jarell jarell okoro <laughs> you know um because you know you know jarell will be huge if he would get out of his own way because yeah, jarell yeah. is so being busy you know uh he's a great guy he he'll put whatever effort is is required yeah yeah uh, you know and and I just feel he's such a genuine guy and his improvement with us. I felt his improvement with us when he was with us was sensational. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. But he always makes everyone, everyone laugh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you're trying to get everyone mad on the sidelines from Kofi <laughs> and Matthew. All right. So there's a... <laughs> 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 I have to go to go uh, you got another part to the three-part question. So next one was um, a player... <laughs> You didn't like coaching, so you not necessarily didn't like them, but you might not like coaching them. A player you um, liked, didn't like coaching against, Kryptonite, and then a funny opponent that you liked coaching against. Okay, you're losing me on the way, but you're going to help me out. The guy <laughs> that was always tough to, tough to coach against was, um, was Charles Smith. You know? <laughs> I mean, Jesus wept. Because I've coached against Charles Smith, you know, from when he first came into the league. Yeah. When Charles came into the league, yeah. he was strict six foot and in. Yeah. A high jumper and that was it. Yeah. He worked on his game, he developed his game and then he went to um, Spain, played in Spain, came back to Newcastle, developed. All of a sudden, not only did you have this guy with all these skills and unbelievable range, yeah. but he was a big time guy. Yeah. You know, really, you know, and um, he was almost impossible to stop. Almost impossible to stop. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I, 
I'm just trying to think of some of the games that we played against him. They were just literally there was just nothing we could do about him. Yeah, yeah. He just tried everything. <laughs> Box on everything. one don't work, this and that don't work. <laughs> oh no, I'm just so smart, you know. Um yeah. So every game that any game that you beat Newcastle up in Newcastle is, is you have to be happy about that, you know. Yeah. Um, and then who was who else am I looking for? You said somebody had coaching against who else? Uh, so put a p- player you didn't like coaching. So not even necessarily you didn't like them. <laughs> um, you could you might you don't even have to say his name. You could say it as a player, and I I can, I can live with that one. And then it was the last one was the funny opponent you like coaching against. Yeah, I mean, in, in terms of guys that I've coached, you, you know, anybody who's played for me, I, I don't, I'm, I am who I am. I, I don't pretend to be anybody. Yeah. I am who I am. And um, they know where I'm coming from. So the only way that there would ever be an issue is if they don't buy into what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. And the only thing that ever, you, you know, so I, it's tough for me to pick someone, but the only one type of player that I don't like coaching is somebody who's not prepared to give the effort. Yeah, I don't care if your, your level is up here. I don't care if your level is down here. You give me the effort, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and obviously, people who've watched me over the years, they know I'll never hesitate to put a young fellow on the floor. I mean, I've, you know, Jordan Spencer, when Jordan Spencer was playing for us when we were at Crystal Palace. Yeah, I remember. He, he started BBL games. I think he started 17 BBL games uh, that year. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, when I had young young Jonathan James, anybody, I'll, I'll play. And if you're if you're there and you're you practice, yeah. doing, I'll put you on that. Fair enough, you know? fair enough. And then the funny opponent you coached against. Funny opponent. Well, you know, the guy that was always the funniest guy was um, a guy by the name of Bob Donnywald. Bob Donnywald. Ah, you know, oh, I can't, don't remember him. <laughs> Let me tell you, Bob Donnywald coached um, Leicester. Yeah. He coached Arby. And he goes to London Leopards. Yeah. Now, trouble follows Bob everywhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> trouble follows Bob everywhere. Now, the team that he had at um, Derby was probably one of the most entertaining basketball teams this country has ever. <laughs> you know, yeah. he had Yorick Williams, a young Yorick Williams. Yeah. You know, that's like, you know, one step from the free throw line behind the back, throw it down. He had Rico Anderson, yeah. always was finding someone. Oh, to yeah. Find. Yeah, he had Mo Robinson. He had uh, Tim Lascelles. <laughs> he had these unbelievable athletes, and they'd be going around fighting people everywhere. But and then with Bob, he uh, he, he then yeah. he left. The, you know, his job. He had got a job in the NBA, and his job okay. in the NBA was with Cleveland in LeBron James's first year. And his oh, job, man. yep, and his job only nothing to do with coaching. His job was to keep LeBron out of trouble. That was his job. Now, <laughs> that was his job. Guy, this is a guy that trouble follows, and they had him looking after LeBron. So, of course, that didn't go well. Now, so after that disaster, he became the head coach of China. Yeah. Now, you saw, I don't know if you've seen on the internet, the fight between the China national team and oh, Georgetown. Oh, Jason Maxill. There you go. <laughs> and he chased him around the court. <laughs> Bob, Bob Donewald for you. <laughs> oh, that's a bad luck, man. <laughs> just, just everywhere you go, trouble just follows, man. Oh my trouble. god, that's bad luck. Oh, <laughs> meet him. He's a great guy, but you know, yeah. he gets a bit loose when the ball goes up. <laughs> Rico Alderson was. I remember Rico Alderson. Oh my gosh, that was another one. Oh. Rico, something else. I mean, oh, he really was. Wow, he was something else. There are clips online on YouTube. You can see him play and incredible athlete desire my goodness but you know for me right i i mean i've done everything in basketball as far as playing coaching commentating yeah. watching the floor watching the kick whatever driving the bus whatever it takes um but one of the things i like is when i get to, when i was commentating you know before when i was in milton Keynes, even some of the times when i was uh, in london i would commentate on the games and i used to visualize myself because i went to New York, I went to the Rocker Park tournament. Yeah. Right? Saw what happened there back in the day. And I used to try and create that kind of atmosphere when I was yeah, yeah. coming to have a situation where if you go to Rocker Park, you got you look up about four or five rows back, all the old boys are there. Yeah. Oh no. Go there, sitting there looking at you coming in. Yo, man, look at this guy's shorts coming up in here. What's going on? <laughs> you know, and they used to commentate the game and just kill you. You know, so, so you have I'm ready. 
And I used to love to commentate in that way, you know. Okay. And a few players used to hate me commentating their games. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, that's dope, man. Um, anyone else who's tuned in, got any questions? Everything, 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 Chris. Everything, Chris. Everything, Chris. Everything, everything, Chris.